It's the murder that took more than a year to charge. A Detroit surgeon found shot to death and wrapped in carpet in his attic. Tonight we hear from someone who knew both the doctor and his accused killer. Thanks everyone for joining us here at 6. I'm Karen Drew in for Kimberly Gill tonight. And I'm Damon Fernandez in for Devin Skillian. Now the woman we're about to hear from knew all about the man with whom her friend Dr. Devon Hoover had been spending time leading up to his murder in April of last year. Now she says she was one of several people who pointed police toward Desmond Burks right away. Sean Lay joins us live and Sean just like a lot of other people Megan Beamer has some big concerns about how long it took to bring charges against Burks. That's the key to her speaking out to us today. And look, I'm hearing from a lot of you in the last few days have tough questions about this very complicated case. But look, Megan Beamer is her name. Friends with Dr. Burks, is friends with Dr. Hoover, I should say, while she was in the house. There were times when Desmond Burks was here also. He was a friend and he was in there from time to time. But when Dr. Hoover's body was found up in the third floor attic area, she says she immediately thought of Burks and wants to know why it took so long to charge him. He called me and told me that they did, in fact, pick up the person who we all said it was from the very beginning, from the jump. They finally picked him up. Her name is Megan Beamer. She wanted to speak out to me tonight. She not only was a close friend of Dr. Devon Hoover, but she also knows his accused killer, Desmond Burks. Did you know his name? back then oh you know i don't know i know does i know who does is i know what does does the neurosurgeon was found murdered in his boston edison home april 23rd of 2023 but wayne county prosecutor kim worthy charged burks with the doctor's murder last week some 16 months later saying witnesses were reluctant to come forward due to the doctor having an intimate relationship with burks beamer says detroit police were pointed to Desmond Burks by Hoover's friends from the start. Everybody knew exactly who it was. But you can go on the Facebook group and see we we've all known. And sources confirmed to me tonight that Detroit police arrested Burks five days after Hoover was murdered, but released him. I'm told more evidence for a murder charge was needed. And while police continued to investigate Burks nearly one year after the doctor's death, Burks is accused of killing 67 year old Rita Sala during a road rage incident this past April. Why was he not kept in jail? Then another family wouldn't have lost their family member like we lost Devon. All right, back here live in Boston, Edison. Now, Devon Hoover case here. Burks uh, released after a few days after being held last year by Detroit police. Police tell me that the case simply was not ready. More evidence was needed. More details on that will come out in court. Burks being held on a million dollars bond for the road rage incident. Guys, uh, Beamer uh, tells me that all of this, despite any relationship and any intimate relationship, was all about money and getting money. And that's how she, she believes that was the motive to this killing. We're live tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4, back to you. So many questions still. All right, Sean, thank you.